The Israeli parliament has adopted a controversial bill that defines Israel exclusively as the nation state of the Jewish people. Critics say the law discriminates against the Palestinian minority. Joining me now in the studio is Alon Liel. He is the former director general of the foreign ministry of Israel. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. At the most basic level, we know Israel is a majority Jewish state. Why is it necessary to enshrine it in this law when it makes, rightly or wrongly, the non-Jewish minority feel this alienated? I don't have an answer, really. I sit here as an Israeli mm -hmm. who was born in Israel, grew up in Israel, served in the army and served over 30 years in the diplomatic service, and I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. Three quarters of our population are Jewish, but a quarter are non-Jews. Mm. Twenty percent of the population are Muslims. When the country was founded in the declaration of, of founding, of establishing the country, it said clearly everybody will be equal, mm -hmm. will have equal rights, and now we are erasing it. In my past, I was Israel's ambassador to South Africa, mm -hmm. to Mandela. And I, I know the apartheid very well. And this reminds us, the apartheid regime, and it's terrible for, for Israelis like me that a quarter of the population of Israel right. will feel second class now. So what is it about those who support this law that feel, I don't know, that there's such an existential threat to their, to their being in the state of Israel that they have to not just, I mean, enact this law and make Arabic you know, a special status language instead of an official language. Yes. Uh, it's part of it. Mm. It's part of it. But it's not all of it. I think most of it is simply arrogance and racism. Racism. The, the uh, issue of uh, security is around. But there is no threat that inside the borders of Israel we will lose the Jewish mm. Majority, no threat at all. We still bring Jews from outside. Standard of living in Israel is high. Jews from France are coming now, mm -hmm. from other countries. The, 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 there was no change in the last 20 years in the percentage of non-Jews in Israel. So most of it is racist, is arrogance, is overconfidence. And, and I think it will backfire because... Israel, there is a lot of criticism on Israel of what to do right. to the Palestinians, but now, to add to it, such treatment to the Israeli mm. Muslims uh, will, will uh, be complicated for Israel, I think. Well, we did hear a few Palestinian critics say exactly that. This, this actually serves their cause in an ironic way because it is proof that this is the product of racism, and it is illegal in that sense. But, I mean, should there be then attempts now to repeal it. We've heard that this actually is extremely difficult, if not impossible, to repeal for the way that it's actually been enacted. But what would you encourage then people to do at the most basic level in Israel and as well as the international community? I think this is a matter, first of all, for the Jewish world. Mm. Of course, international community uh, can criticize it, but we know what's going on in the world, in other countries. Uh, democracy is not very popular today in Eastern Europe, and uh, we see what's going on in the United States under Trump. But for the Jewish people, and for the Israelis like me, who grew up there, to say that our Arab partner citizens are not equal to us is a terrible thing. And we should fight it. The, and I'm not speaking on necessarily fighting it in parliament. Mm -hmm. In Israeli terms, in Israeli politics, 62 to 55 is a big difference. And the, this government has a comfortable majority. Mm -hmm. So un, until it falls, you can not change it through parliament. But a civil society and Jews abroad, Jews abroad, who understand now that Israel is not a democratic state, and maybe Do even you an think they understand Jews, that? Do you Jews, think the diaspora Jews, understands the that? The diaspora, the liberal part of the diaspora, especially in the United States, mm -hmm. should understand that after this law has passed, Israel is not democratic. 
and Israel is an apartheid state. And these Jews are liberals. They live in a democratic environment. They should criticize Israel. And I think Israel cannot afford such a meaningful rift inside the Jewish world that a big part of the Jewish diaspora does not identify with the state of Israel anymore. Okay. Alon Liel, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. in. Bye-bye.